Hi everyone, it's Rendon with TJ Free. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can hook up a MIDI keyboard, so any keyboard that has a USB port in the back, to a computer so you can change and get different sounds. You can record the MIDI notes from the keyboard onto a computer, and this is all going to be using free software. So the software we're using in this video is LMMS, and the operating system I'm using is also a Linux operating system, a free and open source operating system, but these instructions will work similarly on Windows and Mac also. So the first thing you need to do is look on the back of your keyboard and see if you have this type of connection. This type of cable is used for a lot of things. It's a really common one you'll find on a printer. So if you don't think you have one of these, check your printer. You may be able to steal the cable from your printer temporarily while you're just testing. Now you can hook up a tiny, they make just like single octave keyboards, very cheap. I'll include a link in the description. I have one in my other, in the studio. Um, but this is just a nice keyboard that my kids like to play on. And the reason I hook this up is because this only has three sounds. It sounds really good as a piano, but it only has three different sounds. It has like an electronic or an electric keyboard and then a concert and then a modern is what it's called. So it sounds good, but um, it only has the three sounds. If you want to play a different sound, um, we need to hook it up to the software. So I'm just going to show you how to do now. We'll hop over to the screencast, and we'll kind of come back and forth between the camera and the screencast. I'm going to plug this in to the back of the piano, and then the other end, the other end of that cable is just a USB cable plugging into the back of the computer. I'll just tilt this down here so you can see the computer. This is the computer I'm using. It's nothing too special. It's just like uh, just a regular computer. It's running Linux Mint. Um, and then I have a wireless keyboard to control this computer. So what we'll need to do, I'll hop over to the screencast and we'll just go over here uh, once LMMS is installed. And I have tutorials teaching how to use LMMS. It's a little bit intimidating at first, but you just click on this cog and go to MIDI and then go to input. And then we'll ch we should see a new option for this Casio USB is what mine's called. It's a MIDI device. And now when I play the MIDI keyboard, we see it lights up and it also plays. So this is playing through the speakers here. This speaker is plugged into the computer. It's also playing through the keyboard speaker. So I'll turn the volume all the way down on the, on the keyboard and then we'll just hear the instrument in LMMS. So we have a new sound. The sound is coming out of this speaker. And if we hop over to the screencast, notice that there's activity when I play this. We see this light up right here, this kind of light right there. If we come over here and double click in the square, we can see what's happening. We can see which notes are being played. If I want to change the instrument, I can just come over here and I can close out of this and I can just drag a new instrument. So I can hover over these instruments on the left hand side and click. So if that one sounds kind of cool to me, I can left click and drag, and now I'll be using this instrument. Uh, let's find, there's all kinds of different ones, like this kicker here is just a drum. So if I want just a drum sound, I can do that. Just this kick sound. And we can use that together with a drum module. And I have another video showing how to do the same thing with an electronic drum kit. You can hook up a MIDI drum kit to a computer. Uh, I think you can do it in LMMS also. Um, I have a video showing how to do it in Hydrogen, which is also free and open source software. Um, but just, just really cool. We can get like a brass sound here. The brass isn't great, but we can drag and drop that in and then we have a brass sound. And there's some really, really cool plugins. Um, check out some of my other videos. Um, I'm actually making some right now going over some of these new VST instrument plugins that are also free and just really sound awesome in uh, LMMS. Um, oh, I want to show you real quick before I end this video the recording. So if I go over to, uh, again, let's grab an, a cool instrument like we'll do, uh, do triple oscillator. Let's do like a bell. So we have this cool like effect happening here, it's sort of like a arpeggio type thing. So we can hold down a key and it'll make that sound. But if I want to record this, I can come over here and I can double click on this square and then I can record these as I'm playing them. So I just hold them down and we see what the keys are doing right there. But if I want to record this, I can actually do that. I just hover over this button right here and I click record notes. Now as I play them,
it records the keynote presses that I do. And I can go back and play that. I can hit stop. And now I'm not playing on the piano at all. I can just come back to the beginning of this and play and hear what it sounds like. And then it'll just repeat and loop over and over again. So this is really cool software. And if you already have a piano like this that maybe is older and you're and you're you want to upgrade to a better piano be, just to get the sounds, you might consider just using a software, a free software on the computer to expand the functionality of your computer. I love this piano. It has nice weighted keys and it sounds really good. Um, it's just a, a really responsive, good electronic piano. It's just limited in the sounds that it can do. So if you have any questions or comments, um, leave them below. Check out my video series, Teaching How to Use LMMS. It's great free software and you're going to love it if you're a musician. So thanks for watching and I look forward to catching you in the next video.